Here at SparkFun, the fan favorite way to get started with Arduino is the SparkFun Inventors Kit. The SparkFun Inventors Kit has everything you need to breadboard 15 circuits and start programming. However, not everyone has eco eyes, the patience and grace, or the focus to breadboard 15 circuits together. Some people just want to jump into the code. That's where the digital sandbox comes in. SparkFun made the digital sandbox for educators, students, and makers who want to jump in and start programming an Arduino to interact with real-world sensors and other components right out of the box. Think of the digital sandbox as an Arduino with all the electronic goodies on one board. What's on the digital sandbox? For outputs, we have five LEDs in a row, which you can program to light up, blink, make patterns, or even use in a reaction timer game. Also, an RGB LED, which you can mix to create any color in the rainbow. For inputs, the digital sandbox has a push button and a slide switch, which produce digital on-off values, and the slide potentiometer to introduce analog inputs. In addition, the digital sandbox comes with real-world inputs, a light sensor to measure the ambient light, a temperature sensor which can measure the actual temperature in Celsius, and a microphone to create sound-reactive projects. A nice feature of the digital sandbox is that you can also add external parts with the add-on header, and you can power the board with USB or a LiPo battery. If you're using a LiPo battery, you have an option to charge the battery over USB. As an added bonus, the guide includes experiments that go along with the digital sandbox add-on kit. This kit includes a motor, buzzer, servo, and headers. The guide walks you through 14 fun experiments to teach you how to program with RGBlock, a graphical programming language for Arduino. Using RGBlock, you can create an Arduino sketch by simply dragging, dropping, and interlocking blocks. RGBlock is a perfect interface if you're just getting into programming, electronics, or Arduino. With just a few blocks, for example, you can create an automatic nightlight. You're not restricted to using RGBlock with the digital sandbox. You can use other graphical programming interfaces like Scratch or MiniBlock. Check out our digital guide, which demonstrates how to turn the sandbox into a Pico board and use it with Scratch. Scratch is a free, interactive programming language and a favorite in the classroom. Want to go further? Skip the blocks and follow our digital guides on how to use the digital sandbox with the Arduino IDE and CodeBender. After you finish all the experiments, take what you've learned and make something cool. For example, in the classroom for the pranksters, they can make a light triggered rubber band shooter. Whoop. Really?